shark shit. What are you going on about? There's always one, isn't there? Get out of it. So, you might not think there's any sharks in Britain. You might not think there's any predatory sharks in Britain. Check out this next clip, which I'll cover in more detail. And let's get started. It's here. Hello. Good guy. That's not Photoshop. Sharks in British waters. There's over 10 million sharks in our waters. There's 100,000 large sharks spread across 40 species, of which 20 are here all year round. Confirmed sharks, we've got the basking sharks, we've got the elusive Greenland shark, and we've got the poor beagle sharks, which is like a mini great white shark, although they're not that small. You've got the blue sharks, you've got the Atlantic shortfin mako, which is probably the most dangerous shark in our waters. We've also got the smooth hammerhead, the taupe. Not sharks, but similar subject. I'll talk about the orca killer whales that we have here. And also, I'll let you guys know what my thoughts are on whether great white sharks frequent our waters. Now, I'm pretty highly caffeinated right now, so uh, I apologize for that in advance. Blue sharks can grow up to 13 feet long and up to 530 pounds, that's massive. To size comparison, my paddleboard is only 10 foot six. So this shows how big these things get to. So they feed primarily on fish, squid. Uh, they're a favorite snack of the great white shark. They've got a sleek body with large eyes and a pointed snout. The pectoral fins are quite long, as is the tail fin. Uh, it's a large predatory species found primarily south of England, however, they have been tracked up north. There are charters in the south of England that will take you swimming with these things. Uh, if you look at this uh, footage from Crusader Charters, this was taken yesterday. I mean, check this out. This is British waters. Look at these things. So in summer 2016, a 242 pound blue shark was caught off Milford Haven, uh, off the coast of Wales. And then in 2017, an even larger one was caught off the coast of Cornwall. Uh, I believe these do quite often come quite close to shore and have closed beaches in the past. Attacks of blue sharks on humans are very, very rare. Uh, there's only uh, four confirmed cases of fatal blue shark attacks on humans and 25 confirmed non-fatal attacks worldwide. Poor beagle shark. This is the one I'll focus on most. So this is like a mini great white. The footage I'm about to show you is from Ken Pike who's kindly sent this to me, thank you Ken. July the 2nd, 2021, so last month, he was out on his boat Dreamcatcher when he was fishing. Uh, I believe he had mackerel on, and then as he uh, was reeling it up, this thing turned up, which is a poor beagle, to have a look. Look at the size of this thing. You would swear this is a great white shark. Hello. Good guy. That's not Photoshop. Been around the boat three times. We're gonna need a bigger boat. And now it's hitting the boat. It's trying to sink me. It's coming in for another attack. Wow, you are beautiful. Known as a mackerel shark or a porgy, uh, they grow up to 12 feet long. Uh, 600 pounds, so we call them a mini great white, but they are massive. There was one caught in a beach, uh, Chesil Beach in Dorset. I'll show you some pictures of that on the screen. This was only a relatively small one. Look at the size of it compared to these young lads. So they're found all around the UK, in, primarily in deep waters. However, they will come close to shore if there is uh, abundant prey there. They're a pelagic shark, which means they swim in their sort of mid-level they're not a particularly deep shark. They don't swim too close to the surface, generally. They're quite a stout, compact, uh, powerfully built predator. Um, sort of body similar to that of a bull shark. It's absolutely jacked. Some of the large poor beagles caught off the UK uh, that May 2012, there was a 17 foot one brought in on North Devon, weighing around 600 pounds. 240 and a 500 pound one caught off the coastline of Devon and Cornwall in April 2017 very much like the great white shark, um, has an unusual system for heating their body temperature. Uh, heat generated by the muscles is recirculated, meaning that they can swim in waters much warmer than their body temperature. 
So it's a common misconception that large predatory sharks don't come into British waters because it's not warm enough. That's bullshit. So as far as attacks on humans go, I've covered a few encounters in my previous video. They're very physically capable of attacking people. However, there's not that many worldwide attacks or fatalities. You might find that most encounters are provoked. Fishermen, kayak fishermen trying to bring them on board. I mean, if I was a shark, and someone tried to reel me in, I would take their hand off as well. So the thresher shark then, these things can grow up to 25 feet long, although half of that is in their tail. Uh, they feed on shoaling fish such as mackerel and herring, primarily. Again, another powerfully built shark. They're found all around the world in tropical called in temperate waters. Like the poor beagle, they can heat their own body above their water temperature. These sharks, these sharks hunt in small packs, so which is quite unusual for sharks. Um, have been known to uh, breach out of the water when uh, attacking prey, and also have been known to use their tail to whip prey to startle it before going in for the kill. Uh, there's been no confirmed reports of uh, human deaths due to thresher sharks, and only a handful of attacks. These are the biggest fish in our waters. Uh, they grow up to sort of 28 feet and around the 900 to 1,000 pound mark in weight. They're a huge species, normally dark gray or like a brown color. Obviously they're the second largest shark to the whale shark. They're not aggressive. and They're quite, they're quite a calm animal around the boats. So uh, where I live, the Isle of Man, it's a bit of a basking shark hotspot. Although what I will say is, in recent times, we've not seen as many. And I was talking to a guy who runs a charter boat here, and he was telling me he believes it to be for two reasons. Uh, they've put wind farms quite close to us now. Uh, apparently there's quite a lot of vibrations off those. And also um, they laid a, a large electricity cable uh, from Ireland to us. And they believe that the uh, waves or shock waves, DC, whatever, coming from those, uh, the sharks don't like them. So, I mean, we have seen them this year, just not as many as we would normally. So uh, they're one of the few shark species that feeds on plankton on the surface. So, you know, you're not going to get bitten by one of these. However, there has been a fatality due to basking sharks, which I did cover in a previous video. So this, this shark, bit of an elusive uh, bad boy, this one. It was only filmed in the wild for the first time in 2003. I've got trainers older than that. Uh, the size is generally unknown. We don't know a lot about this shark, but at least 24 foot in length, and they can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. They're widely distributed in cold waters. Uh, they're very slow moving. Uh, however, they are, they are the second largest species of carnivorous shark, uh, second to obviously the great white shark. They rarely encounter humans. You've probably got more chance of seeing a Sasquatch, Bigfoot, then you have one of these. In 2016, research showed come across one that was nearly 300 years old, and it's believed that they do live longer. So it's quite, quite crazy to think that there could be a, a, one of these swimming around that was around way, way back in the day, you know? Top speed is about 1.6 miles per hour. They're fairly slow. Pretty much all the ones that have been videoed have got like a parasite on the eyes, so it makes them uh, blind, essentially. The Greenland shark, the largest living vertebra in the world, and let's face it, Nobody knows much about them, so I look forward to uh, hearing more. Short fin Atlantic Mako then. Said it before, this is the most dangerous shark in our waters uh, that we know of. Talk about great whites in a bit. Uh, they grow up to 14 foot in length, uh, in excess of 1,300 pounds. There was an incident in 1996 in the North Sea uh, near an oil rig where there was a registered attack. Believed to be one of these. I haven't got any details on that for you. Uh, they're widespread around, again, subtropical and temperate waters. They're a strong, powerful shark. It's believed this shark had some involvement in the Red Sea attacks uh, back in uh, Sharm el-Sheikh. It's one of the fastest swimming species as well. Uh, it can reach speeds of in excess of 50 mile an hour in bursts. Uh, only two weeks ago, one of these was spotted uh, off the coast of Wales, which is only about ooh, 60 miles that way. So in a future video, I am going out looking for these. Stay tuned for that. 2013, boat anglers reported seeing short fin makos off the coast of Cornwall. December 2014, uh, one washed up on a beach. So these are more of an all year round species. Again, like the poor beagle and the great white, these can regulate their own body temperature. They can travel massive distances as well. One was tagged in the Mediterranean and uh, made its way to America. Uh, there's a wide belief when it comes to great whites that the Mediterranean is a bit of a 
a birthing ground for them and then they, they move on. So who knows, could be a similar thing. So in British waters, it's, it's probably known as an apex predator, which means it's got no real natural um, predators other than orcas that we know of. Uh, but because they're so fast, it's unlikely they'd get hold of one of them. Uh, International Shark Attack file states there's been 42 uh, Mako attacks worldwide since 1980, uh, three of which were fatals. You've got your angel sharks. These are quite a peculiar looking fish. Uh, they're sort of half between a shark and a ray. Uh, they're only small, about six foot, about 70 pound in weight. Uh, they feed on fish primarily. There's been no attacks and as well taupe. Taupe, now these are quite a, a small shark known as a school shark. They grow up to six feet, about 100 pound. They, these are here all year round. Uh, they feed on fish. But one thing that's quite interesting about taupe is uh, there's loads of uh, reports of people reeling taupe in because it's quite a popular fish uh, shark to catch. Getting nailed by other sharks, there's plenty of footage out there of someone reeling one in and then a, a mako, a blue shark, perhaps comes up and just takes it. A rare sight in British waters, but they have been confirmed because they do come here. Pretty hard to misidentify, obviously it's a hammerhead shark. There's actually nine different types of hammerhead sharks, uh, but this one having a more smoother rounded head has been seen in our waters. Uh, again, I think they grow up to about 12 feet, roughly about 600 pounds, but a rare fish. We don't see much of these. Orcas, killer whales. It might surprise you to know that we actually have a resident group of them year round in British waters. Um, normally based around Scotland, Northern Scotland. However, uh, this year, 2021 in the spring, they made their way down to Cornwall, uh, staycation I guess obviously there's no passports these things can go wherever they want which is interesting geographically here on the Isle of Man they probably passed past the Isle of Man to get there would make sense but we have had sightings here uh, on the south of the island sort of near the sound port air and area uh, about 10 years ago where uh, an orca killer whale was seen taking a seal Quite a lot of seals down there that's where i would go free diving if i wanted to see seals they grow up to 10 meters in length they can weigh up to 10 ton and they live for about 90 years which i suppose you a good innings for a human would be 90 years if you didn't plow yourself with copious amounts of caffeine like i do now other killer whales do frequent our waters uh, normally i would say they head north Sh uh, shetland and orkney area but in april 2018 a separate pod of six uh, went to the River Clyde uh, again January 2019 one that's been known called John Coe uh, due to its markings on its dorsal fin or shape took itself down to Morrie Firth and again in uh, 2020 uh, they were in Northumberland there's a lot of research that states they've, uh, they're the reason why great white sharks are disappearing from South Africa they're known to kill great whites there's a video of it on YouTube somewhere of an attack um, that being said they're not greedy. They tend to kill whatever they've they've had. Then they'll eat like the tongue, maybe the bottom jaw, take out the liver with like surgical precision, and then leave the carcass for uh, all the other crustaceans in the sea to have a crack at. They're also known to breach like great white sharks are. Uh, they can jump out of the water. There's some footage here of an eight meter orca uh, jumping out of the water 15 foot. Uh, these images were captured during a two hour pursuit where the orca was hunting this dolphin. Bad news for the dolphin, it got nailed in the end. Apparently, if you do encounter one, you are to maintain a constant speed and let it interact with you in its own its own way. There's some mega footage on YouTube of uh, people paddle boarding and them coming up to them. Uh, your, the chances of you seeing one of those, very, very rare. That leaves one question really, doesn't it? Do I think great white sharks frequent British waters? Yes, I do. And I'm going to talk about this in more detail. Obviously, this is part of the great white sharks in British waters series. By the way, just clarify, I'm not a nut job. This is a very feasible thing. I'll tell you for why. Very briefly, Scotland has the largest seal colony in Europe, so there's plenty for them to eat. I don't think there's enough orcas here to scare them off. They're a rare fish anyway, so the chances of us coming across them are very, very slim. If you look at the closest recorded white shark, which is the Bay of Biscay, which is not that far away, it's probably the distance between Cornwall and Scotland from 
in the south of England, it's not far. The water temperatures here are optimal. If you look at South Africa, where, where they are absolutely prevalent, it's the same temperatures. If you look at Nova Scotia and Canada, it's the same temperatures. I think the question would be, why aren't they here? It's only a matter of time, and I'll say, cover it in more details. Also got asked a question by a subscriber, is it safe to go paddle boarding here in the UK? Of course it is. You've probably got more chance of like a satellite falling out of the falling out of the stratosphere landing on your head. It's perfectly safe. I never worry about sharks. Even in the waters that I've swam in, like Australia, uh, Indian Ocean, uh, all around Asia, I've never worried about being attacked by a shark. If anything, I was hoping I'd see one. So see you on the next video.